The big disappointment that I have since the early 90s is not necessarily the issue of, you know, gay people being able to be different. It's the element of, you know, I thought gay people were going to be ahead of the curve when it comes to sexuality. I thought we were, here in the United States, that we were going to become more adult about sexuality. And then feminist theory and gender studies and sociology came into the picture and shit all over any of the progress that was being made. I was hoping that we would be able to celebrate being sexual beings. I thought that's where things were going to head. But instead, feminist theory, gender studies, shit all over all of that progress. All over it. And the whole pickup artist thing, the PUA movement, if you want to call it that, started skyrocketing. Here's the thing. For any of you feminists out there who argue against people being able to just tell you that you're attractive or tell you that they'd like to have sex or anything like that, um, you have created the pickup artist movement. People are going to be sexual whether you tell them to or not. It doesn't matter whether it's an organized religion that tells them this or whether it's an organized ideology that tells them, you know, that they shouldn't do this. They're still going to do it. People are still going to be sexual. And so you've created this pickup artist mentality in a lot of guys who normally would have really been more honest, but you don't want honesty. You want guys to lie. Oh, but we don't want guys to lie. We want them to change. Fuck you. You're not going to change and demonize sexuality. And then when you're finding that that's not working, you know, you, 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 your demonization of this isn't working, well, then your next step is to say, well, well, it's a rape culture. All these rapey guys. How about you just stop being so fucking puritanical? How about you stop being such a bunch of fucking prudes? How about that? How about we start going the direction that, that gay men were taking us in the 90s that you shit all over? How about that? Is that too radical for you? Some of you call yourselves radical feminists, and yet, you know, the only thing radical is, is uh, being more puritanical, shitting all over sexuality. You want pickup artists to continue their ways? Or do you want to put a stop to that? The only way you're going to put a stop to that is when you actually want guys to be honest. And what makes me sick about this whole thing is this has affected the gay community as well. Do you know what the gay community now has to, to do? We have to use apps. Let's use an app. Because you've grounded into everyone that uh, to go up to someone and tell them that they're hot, to tell them that you'd like, you know, you'd be interested in something sexual with the person is completely unacceptable. You have to get to know them first, which is a nice, it's nice to get to know someone. You know, and I prefer getting to know somebody. But some people aren't that much into that. 
oh, but they should change. No. You should stop being a bunch of fucking prudes. You should stop perpetuating the pickup artist mindset, because that is exactly what you're doing. You don't want people to be adult about sexuality. You want it to be this strict set of rules. You want to push this dogma onto everybody. And then you wonder why people are pissy about feminism. And what makes me sick about this whole thing is that you have all these gay people on your side because, oh, well, we support gay people. Yeah, as long as they're not celebrating their sexuality. <laughs> you know? And so, because some of the people that the feminists speak against are those who would stereotypically be homophobic, but it hasn't been that way there very much anymore, um, you get all this support from all these gay men, thinking that there couldn't possibly be anything bad about the movement. That's the real sick thing about this. And all these gay men don't seem to realize because this stuff has happened over such a long period of time, over a period of 20 years, that sexuality has been suppressed. But it's okay. It's in the name of gender studies. It's in the name of sociology. That's the right side of history. Gender studies and sociology, that's, that's the right side of history. We need to demonize sexuality. Everyone should be who they are, but demonize sexuality. Pisses me the fuck off.